one in four couples trying to get pregnant right now can't. And this is totally just a, a nutrient deficiency thing and also a cellular toxicity. I was in a crowd once where I, I knew I was speaking to a lot of doctors and some I'm sure specialized in hormones. And I just asked if you can give me the building blocks of hormones. Like, no hands really went up. I remember talking to someone kind of after and they're like, wow, I was really surprised to learn that. Yeah, I had never really thought that, yeah, you think about fat as being a building block for hormones. It's very true. And testosterone, which you may not really think of it as a key hormone for women. That's a misnomer. I believe women actually produce 30 times or more yeah. testosterone than estrogen. Yeah. Testosterone is incredibly important for women and yet I almost never hear it talked about. To find out oddly, like kind of strangely, that some of my most fit female friends that were like barely 30 were on testosterone replacement and taking it twice a day or it's so common like, it's like wow really testosterone injections so many people young people rely on it so many guys but also women use that as a shortcut and once you start taking this your innate intelligence starts to think well you're taking this exogenously why do i need to even try producing it endogenously right. let me shut that down testicles could shrink taking a lot of testosterone could actually yeah. increase cancer growth and other right. risk factors right Barton Scott, my friend, welcome to the Keto Camp Podcast. This one is special. You've been on two times before. This yeah. one is special because if you're watching on YouTube, we're here in person and you have moved to Miami ever since our last conversation. Yeah. Uh, so we get to do this in person. So exciting. So yeah. exciting, bro. I just love the work you're doing. Thank you know, if you're you a listener too. of the podcast or the YouTube channel, you know that we talk a lot about upgraded formulas. It's one of my go-to supplements for uh, uh, enhancing my hormones, uh, my gut health, my minerals. You just mentioned offline you're doing some cool things with um, some clinical trials uh, yeah. with for males and for females and yeah. as it pertains to their hormones. So let's start with the females out there. What are some of the things you're doing and seeing with uh, increasing our, our minerals the right way and what it does for women's hormones health? Oh, it's so interesting. I, I love this topic. So the reason I got into this topic is I was talking to a friend of mine, Seth, and um, Seth is... Uh, He's, he's a CFO for a fertility company, a startup. And, um, you know, he, he gave me a stat that he said, he's like, look, I get that the stat is probably wrong, but it's probably even worse than this because um, the stat is from the CDC. And we're, if yeah, anything, it's yeah. conservative. <laughs> yeah, if right. anything, it's conservative. That's correct. Like, if you listen to the show, you, you know that pretty clearly. Um, also, side note, I just got Invisalign, so like we're talking <laughs> offline, you're going to hear a little bit of a, like a lisp at times, so enjoy that uh, as much as I'm enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so the, the thing, though, that, that was very much a light bulb moment is what he said, which was one in four couples, and you can look this up, you'll see it, one in four couples that are trying to get pregnant right now can't. Wow. Uh, and this is totally just a, a nutrient deficiency thing and also a cellular toxicity, right? So I, I just, I remember thinking, wow, do, do we, I mean, we do exactly this. Like at a cellular level, you know this, but for people that haven't heard any of the other episodes Ben and I have done, um, basically, you know, my mom got very sick. Uh, if you can imagine, you know, losing your mom in your early 20s, helping her some, but ultimately not enough. Having a lot of brain fog yourself after I'd been an athlete, I'd been you know, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, football, different things like that, pushing really hard, studied chemical engineering, and then ultimately uh, was very, very burnt out towards the end. Uh, especially mentally, I remember seeing like my, my short-term memory just sort of evaporate. And luckily it's back, I feel great. Um, my testosterone had tanked, it was like 300 or so at like 24, 25. Wow. Uh, now it's like, a little over a thousand last time I checked wow. it, which we can also talk about in its relation to upgraded T and, and the clinical trial we're doing on that. Super cool. But the yeah, the way that kind of dovetails is, I mean, we can go like really like macro and just say like kind of everything we do supports fertility and hormones uh, with the hair testing, with the, um, you know, the unique um, USP on, on um, our absorption for the minerals themselves which really are the building blocks right of hormones right when you think about hormones i know you and i've both spoken uh you know quite a bit and i, I was in a crowd once where I, I knew i was speaking to a lot of a lot of doctors and some i'm sure specialized in hormones 
And that would be like one of the things like, oh, you know, I'm a hormone specialist. And I just asked, I was like, you know, who can, who can give me the building blocks of, of hormones, like important sex horm- hormones. And like no hands really went up. Um, I remember talking to someone kind of after and they're like, wow, I was really surprised to learn that. Yeah, I had never really thought that, yeah, you think about fats, for example, as being a building block for hormones. It's very true. I think if you listen to the show, you probably know that, but but elements, minerals, um, and things that get in the way, like heavy metals, and um, yeah, you know, you think about the things that get in the way, like plastics as well, but seed oils as well. Seed oils, oh my God, Oof. we could talk for so long about that, um, and and yet, you know, I never had a really ac- a real actionable way to get these hormones uh, optimized. And I was like, yeah, you know, it it like not to to tout. Uh, what we do like just you know constantly but like absolutely i'd be remiss if i didn't if i if you're asking about this and i didn't say you know by looking at a tissue mineral analysis correctly like with someone that can find things like hidden copper toxicity and iodine deficiency even if it's not tested for directly you know if you can if you can do that do it regularly enough like quarterly and then actually have supplements that absorb well like wow i mean you you go a long 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 way into giving your body what it needs and i remember she her, her just going like yeah it makes so much sense and i was like yeah i i know uh, yeah i agree um so yeah that that's like part of it part of the answer and then the the really exciting part now is is upgraded t uh as in testosterone which as you know but maybe if you're listening to the show you you may not really think of it as a key hormone for women um testosterone yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a misnomer uh I, I believe that women actually produce 30 times or more yeah. testosterone than estrogen yeah yeah so it's yeah. abundant it's not as high as it would be in males but right. it's still an abundant hormone in, in women exactly so i'll say that you know for just kind of restate what ben said here yeah somewhere between 10 and 38 times like wow. for a healthy woman. Um, so yeah, you could easily say 30, you know, very, very reasonably for a woman that is considered optimal hormonally. So what is testosterone going to do for women and for men? What, what does it give us? Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, guys, healthy guys compared to a healthy woman, we're going to have what, 10 times, um, as much testosterone. Yep. That's what I remember seeing. So, Again, these are like, you know, rough numbers, but just to kind of give you an idea of like the range. Like, well, so in that case, what, what we're really saying is you know, testosterone is incredibly important for women. And yet I almost never hear it talked about, except that to, to find out oddly, like kind of strangely, that some of my most fit female friends that were like barely 30 uh, were on testosterone replacement and taking it twice a day or so common i was like wow really and i remember thinking like wow she's like easily one of the most fit women i know and like she had low testosterone wow and she eats super well and you know has all the signs of vitality great you know great skin great hair all these different things youthfulness wow really interesting well if it's true for her and she's doing everything she possibly can uh won't give her her name away but she's actually one of our nutritionists uh too um we see people virtually so um we they go over hair analysis results but i was like wow really wow okay it was just like was so shocking yeah so so that's if it's that you know prevalent in the body it's super important to optimize right that's kind of the idea so and testosterone is going to give you um, confidence. Mm-hmm. You're going to have yeah. vitality, as you mentioned. Of course, your sex drive is going to be improved. You're going to be able to build lean muscle mass with your workouts and recover faster. Yeah, longevity. Longevity. That. It's such an important hormone. Uh, that's why women who have a menstrual cycle, that, that second week or so during their cycle, days roughly 6 to 13, there's a natural rise in testosterone. And that is a week where women tend to feel more confident, really do well with workouts. And the correlation and a strong correlation is that they have more testosterone that week. So you're talking about things that we can do for women to have that feeling throughout the whole month or a post even more, 
importantly, a postmenopausal woman to actually feel that way the entire month. So with, um, you know, what I have a pet peeve though, when it comes to testosterone injections or, you know, yeah. people, it's so many people, young people rely on it. Um, so many guys, yeah. but also women yeah. use that as a shortcut. And even me, Barton, several years ago, I'm like, my testosterone levels are not that, you know, optimal. They're, they're okay. They were never, you know, around your levels around 300, but uh, I even thought about taking mm -hmm. testosterone uh, injections because I'm like, this could help me feel better. Uh, and then, you know, I do some more research and I realize, like, when, once you start taking this, it, your innate intelligence starts to think, well, you're taking this exogenously. Why do I need to even try producing it endogenously? Right. Let me shut that down. Testicles could shrink. And hey, if you don't monitor your, your markers, other blood markers, taking a lot of testosterone could actually yeah. increase cancer growth and other right. risk factors, right? So what is your, uh, it sounds like you're on the same page of, of me. Completely. Yeah, yeah completely. The, um, yeah, I'm sure it'd be interesting to have a super arguable point here, but that just makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I, I totally want you to feel like if you're on it right now, it's not your fault or like, you know, there are things you can do about it. Um, I know a couple of people right now have already used it to get off of testosterone. These are They've guys. used the upgraded T to mm -hmm. get off? Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, so what we've seen in early uh, results with uh, before and after blood tests and total testosterone is that total testosterone improved about 30% in 90 days. Wow. Yeah. So like what about 30, free and uh, like sex hormone binding? Yeah, hormone? I know free improved quite a bit. I don't remember the exact number if we actually put a percentage to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So free improve, that means SHBG went down too. Yeah. And and granted, we do have something called upgraded boron that would help a lot with mm. that. It's something I take daily, um, or at least five times a week, because you don't really get boron in your diet, like anywhere that I can think of, at least in like a normal Western diet, maybe in Japan and, you know, some more rare diets for, uh, for Westerners. So yeah, that's, that's uh, one of the thoughts, but you know, this, it, this product's so interesting that we decided to kind of, you know, like bet the farm on it and do, to do a clinical trial on it. And I, the, I wish we had the results already. I know just from the early blood tests that we saw, you know, guys at different age ranges, um, and, you know, didn't have a chance to test women yet, but for sure, if it's, we're just way more similar than we are different. And if it's improving it that much for men, it's also going to improve it a ton for women. And we will do a clinical trial specifically for women and fertility as well. Uh, it's just easier to measure different things. So we're, we're looking at, we're very optimistic that it's going to improve sperm count, motility of the sperm, wow. uh, testosterone as well, uh, free and total. So, so yeah, and we'll have about 30 people in the clinical trial we did one of these already for upgraded magnesium to show that the delivery system that we have that's really unique uh, really does make a huge difference. And, you know, we've seen like crazy, unbelievable results and improvements in deep sleep for years now. And so we did that trial, too. And I think the, the high of that trial was 250 percent improvement in deep sleep and 160 percent in REM sleep. And this is four capsules for 14 nights. Mm, wow, that's pretty fast. So, and yeah. that trial's done. That trial's done. So we'll yeah. uh, give me the, the reference yeah. to that. We'll put it in the yeah. notes of the YouTube yeah. and the podcast. Yeah. What, what's unique? And well, we'll, and we'll have that published really soon. We're submitting to a couple different journals. So yeah. Oh, cool. That's exciting. Yeah. But yeah. You know, no on the problems. topic of uh, the upgraded tea, I remember we were at dinner about a year ago here in Miami yeah. and you were telling me that you were formulating this and yeah, you were yeah. telling me about all the ingredients. I was like, that's super cool. Let me know when it's available yeah. so I could get it. And of course, no, it's available. I'm holding it up here on YouTube. Um, so let's talk about what are the, the things that are in here and what makes mm -hmm. this different for, uh, from other things. There's like, you know, a whole bunch of testosterone boosting supplements out there. What yeah. makes this different? The, so the thing I really wanted to do was with all of these things, like people have heard about and maybe taken, maybe if you're listening to this, you're already taking some of the general ingredient versions of these things. It's, uh, it's really uncommon that you'd be taking the actual, like, clinically studied version of this thing if you're not taking this product the reason why is because the clinically studied version of all these different ingredients and this amount of those ingredients is really expensive it's a mm. very expensive product to actually manufacture uh, and source so 
you know, like not all maca or, and not all tongkat ali are at all similar. So uh, I'll give a, like a, a brief story on this. So let's say you're growing maca and you're a farmer and you're growing it. And you decide that instead of growing it at 9,000 feet plus um, in Peru, that you're going to grow it at sea level or close to sea level. Well, the, because the plant doesn't struggle through the harshness and, you know, as a farmer, they get great yields. I'm sure if, if they were growing it at sea level, a lot better than at 9,000 feet, then, you know, it, it's just a normal plant pretty much at that point. It doesn't it's not have, getting stressed. It doesn't have any of the oomph. Yeah, huh. it's not getting stressed. Just like great, a lot of the best wine in the world comes from places where the wine really, the vines really struggled, right? Um, luckily for me, it's been about a year since I've had alcohol and man, I feel so much Congrats, better. Congrats, brother. Like, that's, oof, that's exciting. Just like we talk about optimization a lot. Uh, and I agree I'm, with you. Yeah. It took a, took a while to, to really, and it's not one of those like, oh, I need to like never drink again, but just same for me. Just, wow. I just feel so much better. And yeah. then like, maybe I'll have like a sip here or there or something or, and it, it just doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't seem to have the attach anyway. All right, so um, <laughs> the that's a totally different tangent, but um, which will also improve tes- testosterone yeah, too by, right? by removing so, or, or reducing alcohol. Yeah, totally. Inflammation markers, all yep. these different things, right? Agreed. Um, <clears throat> which you know a ton about as well. So the the yeah the you know different ingredients. Wow, this is this is kind of a whole podcast in itself. I'll try to be like. I'll kind of like do high level and then we could talk more about it if that's cool. Yeah, let's you do just, it. You know, feel free to ask anything uh, that you think might be helpful for people. So, yeah, I mean, it's five ingredients and it's the clinically studied version of each one of these. For example, it had, we have she legit in here, but it's the only she legit I would take. And it's the only purified version of she legit that I know of that exists, right? So there's a standardization that happens there, right? Uh, so from one batch to another, it's the same amount of these things, but it's also tested for heavy metals, which are so prevalent in she legit. And this, yeah. this company has figured out how to um, purify she legit, remain, you know, keep the potency and remove the bad stuff um, and do that batch after batch. Now, the cool thing about what we do is because I take all of our products daily <laughs> or you know, many, maybe not all for sure, based on, based on my hair test, Mm -hmm. um, results, but you know, you get what I'm saying, right? I, at some point, probably in a week, I take virtually all of our products. Um, and the, what's, what's really important to me is that I'm not ingesting heavy metals because they're so hard to get rid of. Yeah. The cool thing about minerals and, um, you know, ultimately all of these, these, yeah, all supplements in general break down to elements. Like everything is the periodic table, which is why I love doing what I do and like ensure testing for that one and then ensuring that, you know, we have some great absorption uh, on the back end to actually help vanquish these deficiencies, help to help remove and, and rewind these deficiencies. Because by doing that, it really does feel like aging backwards. When you no longer have a deficiency, now all your cells can operate. All these enzyme functions can, which are like sh- little short bits of code. Like when you hit Control Enter or Shift Enter, and you see the, like this whole page of code. It's kind of like what enzymes are doing in the body. They're they're saving a tremendous amount of energy. So, yeah, minerals are really cool. Just in general, before getting back to upgrade T. To kind of give you an idea of what they're doing in the body, they're really, really amazing at at providing, you know, um, the inputs for these enzymes, activate activation for these enzymes, and also playing defense, right? So, what do I mean by that? So, what I'm really saying is, minerals play offense and defense, and defense as in they protect the body against um, absorbing heavy metals easily, mm. right? So, if you have these points in the body that are little docking sites uh, for enzymes uh, or for minerals to activate enzymes, heavy metals that are similar, like copper and cadmium, they can start to, you know, because it's so important to actually activate those enzymes, they'll, they'll do it. They won't do it preferentially if the mineral's there, but they will do it, and then they, they can end up in the bones. Mm. So you want 
a good supply continually of minerals that you absorb well is what i've realized yeah um yeah so so really so back to upgraded tea the um so that's prima v it's the right amount the right dose the so it's a clinically studied version but then it's also the right dose the right amount and then same thing with um with long jack you know long jack is you know people think of that as as the name um it's also called like ali's umbrella they have a lot of different like a lot of like very like on the on the nose sort of names uh that definitely helps with erections um the the purified shilajit that i mentioned that's in here though actually has uh been clinically shown to boost testosterone 20 just by itself with this dose 23 percent in 90 days wow so just that alone does a lot and that's also collagen synthesis so it's Mm. not just about taking collagen but actually getting it into uh the matrix and and where it's building um and maintaining so it's great for you know beauty longevity and i believe it was a sanskrit term at some point uh i don't remember the actual term but it was known is translated as a destroyer of fatigue or fatigue Mm. destroyer which is really cool that sounds good yeah they've known known about it for years you know very long time um uh, i think because like ancient humans saw apes is the story I've heard at least with that eating. And they're like, wow, they're eating that stuff. They're really strong too. And they're eating it often. Like we should probably have some of that. Um, so that, that one was definitely not purified, but it was like on the edge or mouth of caves or mm-hmm. something. And these apes were like super strong and they're eating these, this. So <laughs> yeah. Um, and the, the dosage is cool. two, two caps twice a day. At least yeah. that's what, um, that's where the, you saw the, the trials. That's what they were doing. Yeah. So these two capsules of upgraded tea, you know, per I'm going to take we'll, two right now. We'll, um, yeah, yeah. I took some I didn't this morning take yet. and I, sometimes I've, I've doubled up. I've done two in the morning, two in the evening, um, which is fine. Like on a really heavy day. Because it does help with uh, cortisol balancing too, from a hormone perspective. Yes, about that. Yep. Super cool. Uh, you know, I think this is really important to go into. I I don't, uh, you know, hopefully for people they can see like, I, I don't know how to not talk about the product and also help, you know, be a, a you know source on what do you, what do you do about the low testosterone you most likely have if you're like anyone alive today. Right. Um, <laughs> Especially in America. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, how many? I'm going to put this up. Uh, just a side note. I'm going to put the upgraded memory in my copy. How much am I putting? Four dropper fulls? Yeah. Okay. Four dropper fulls. Continue. And then for, yeah. So for, for people listening, four dropper fulls, what is a dropper full? It's what Ben's doing right now if you're watching. Uh, dropper full, the technical definition is one depression of the dropper. And it comes up not all the way, but a, roughly half the way of a dropper. Um, so that that's a really great baseline for for most people most people need that product too so what i did with that one is uh, using our unique technology for absorption i also i chose five minerals that i'd seen people be deficient in we've done thousands and thousands and thousands of hair tests at this point uh, and i've you know we've just looked at we've analyzed patterns so we so there go ahead people be deficient in these five things that also are synergistic that also support memory um, phosphorus iodine mag manganese uh mm-hmm. molybdenum uh, yeah. how do you say that molybdenum or molly b for short mm. yeah almost no one knows how to pronounce that one i so. don't and boron which and you boron. mentioned earlier yeah yeah interesting yeah, yeah you know so i mean the best thing to do is to find out what your imbalances are totally and, and you totally. could do that with um your hair mineral testing kit it's, it's super cool you know you just I, i've done it a couple times with you we reviewed it actually for one of the podcasts yeah. that we did but a little bit of some hair. It could be from your head, pubic hair, armpit hair, wherever you want to get it from. Actually, when I got my haircut from my barber, I was like, hey, I'm doing this test. Can you yeah. just like save a little bit from me when you cut my hair? And that's what I did. Yeah. You mail it in and then you get your results online. And there's an option for you to have a consult to have it reviewed, which I would recommend because it oh. helps it make more sense. Yeah. And then you have a game plan. Okay, this is where you're at. These are your baselines. Here are the recommendations of the supplements that you could target. And then you retest and you said about 90 days. Yeah. And then you see what's changed, right? Which is super cool. Yep. Um, but you know, on the on the hormone thing, you mentioned cortisol, uh, mm-hmm. and, and we know that stress, chronic stress, cortisol—it's a quick way to lower the immune system, quick way to age yourself, degrade muscle. 
mm-hmm. uh, and protein, et cetera. So what are some unique yeah. ways that we could uh, balance out the cortisol response? Yeah, so cortisol is really cool. You know, one of the ingredients in here is a form of maca, a, a type of extraction of maca, and that's going to help a lot with that. It's also... And this is this product's great for men and women both, right? Um, just for anyone tea. that wasn't clear on that, but yeah, the grapeseed extract in there again is not the the sort of you know false stuff that you get from China that will say grapeseed extract. You're like, oh, cool, that's grapeseed extract. I've heard that's good. Um, no, this is a, a really potent one. Again, it's each one of these five ingredients are clinically studied, so there's a, a consistency to what you're getting and you're also getting in some cases a very unique extraction method whether it's purification uh, and extraction with the type of shilajit we're using or it's a very unique um, just like you know is it water extraction is it co2 is it um, you know alcohol and and what specific you know temperatures are they extracting all this different things um, these different methodologies that are proprietary in, in most cases and, and certainly clinically studied so you can see specifically they've already done clinical trials on these in individual ingredients and then each batch we actually third party test did this have um, both potency and purity for all the products that we that we put out so because again you know I, I I wanted products that really worked and that yeah. was that was like kind of for me first really. yeah um so yeah, I mean, it, it's all about getting people well and getting people to an optimal, optimal state, upgraded life, right? Hence the the name, um, upgrade formulas. So, so it's it's really it's kind of like uh, homage to, to all of that, and um, we're we're really only as good as the things that we take in and absorb, right? That's the second yeah. the, the key part you said there is absorb. Absorb, right? Totally, totally. Yeah, I mean because. Again, the soil so depleted, right? If if you're a regular listener to the show, I'm not saying anything new there. So I'll you know I won't elaborate or go on. But um, yeah, I mean there there's maca in this, a specific type that's grown at elevations or like what we we're talking about earlier. Um, and then the other thing that's going to help cortisol too is this specific type um, and extraction method. An amount of um, of the long jack root, or uh, yeah, it's it's pronounced a lot of different ways, but it's a long folia root. Um, so that one is really really cool. All these ingredients are super expensive, so there's no wonder why most companies don't put a, either the the sort of one that has all the studies, and they'll just say like it's been shown to do this. It's like well, yeah, all those things you're talking about for that plant were from this one that actually paid mm-hmm. for the clinical trial, did the studies, figured out the best way to extract it, does that consistently, and then there's a bunch of like knockoffs of that. That's so, unfortunate because people believe yeah. they're getting something that's quality. Yeah. And they're using these these studies and, and forms as an example of their benefits of these products, but they're actually not getting those benefits. Right, right. It's really cool, you know, in terms of benefits, um, just being more decisive, being, um, I mean, with with that particular ingredient, you know, for men and women, you know, you're looking at blood flow to the erogenous region, so better erections for guys, better blood flow and sensitivity for women, um, like healthy levels or like, you know, of sensitivity, not like, like, oh, ouch, but like, more just more blood flow which is important for men and women yeah and then um just overall vitality like a lot of these pretty much all these ingredients help with cardiovascular function endothelial function blood flow um they usually also help with cognitive function so heart health and brain health by improving um like you know we're looking at 230 percent improvement with uh, the s7 ingredient with that amount with that clinical study 230 percent improvement in 90 days of nitric oxide production wow. we already know that's a fact and that's an ingredient that's part of this thing which is not something we're even really studying in the clinical trial uh, but does that help with fertility yes does it also help with uh, exercise pumps uh, blood flow in the bedroom for sure but it's everything I've said from boardroom to bedroom, which so it's helping That's your good. mind work, it's yeah. helping your body work, and 
you know, uh, as how does, well. How does this compare in terms of like blood flow to the brain for cognitive yeah. benefits? How does this compare to something like uh, ginkgo biloba? Great question. Um, I don't know that uh, specifically, but what I can say is, so I've never seen any ingredient improve blood flow in 90 days or less, 230%. percent mm-hmm. Like, wow, that's, that's our nitric oxide, which by increasing nitric oxide, it's, um, you know, allowing for a lot better nutrient delivery, right, in every case. Uh, and then from that, you're getting better uh, improvements in endurance, muscle pumps, and then less soreness, so faster recovery times. So if you're an athlete, weekend warrior, uh, or just like to be healthy and like to feel like everything's, you know, not drudgery, <laughs> that's an important ingredient. Um, that, that's something that I'm, I'm always, I've always looked at, I think because of like, you know, wrestling and different things, I, I realized early on very much like the, you know, to the extent of, you know, taking in garbage, you really drastically affect your performance, like on the mat, off the mat, like, are you yawning and needing a nap or are you in the zone? Mm. Uh, so this definitely helps with that. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot of different, really cool ingredients. Super, super pumped as, as you could say, for this product. And pun I mean, intended. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> a, totally. A couple yeah. things because I know we uh, have some time constraints today. Yeah. A couple things before we land the plane here. Number uh, two questions. Number one, when it comes to my audience, a lot of my listeners and viewers are doing carnivore like i'm actually on day 61 of carnivore right now yeah so i'm doing a bunch of lab testing day one and then when i break it uh so obviously i have low levels of glucose low levels of insulin when you're doing keto same thing especially the longer you do keto Mm -hmm. and you tend to lose a lot of minerals the kidneys tend to go through this diuresis process we spoke about this before so for those who are doing keto or carnivore uh, maybe you could explain a little bit why it's even more important for you to replenish these minerals and some of the key ones to that to focus on Totally. So the purified shilajit that we're in, that we're using here, you know, has a lot of fulvic acid in it, which will really help with that. Uh, just going to be a broad spectrum nutrient builder. And part of the reason why it's boosting testosterone 23% is because, again, it's providing that nutrient alone is providing so many benefits. Um, now you still need the right extraction method the the right version and the the right amount um so that that's something to think about a lot there the nutrients in general uh that i would say from carnivore the you know cool thing is that you're probably you know experiencing a lot of gut healing but minerals in general are going to be very very good for gut health Uh, and something that that i think is, is really poorly understood but just in general know that that's that's the key and Think back to just the general concept we talked about of since these minerals and elements are activating uh, the enzyme pathways, whether that's in the gut, the brain, anywhere, it's going to help. But it, they naturally have a sort of prebiotic, prebiotic, postbiotic effect on the body. Mm. Um, and yeah, super interesting. Fulvic acid, humic acid help carry nutrients into and out of the cell. So it increases cellular communication. Um, I think there, there's something to be said about, uh, having broad spectrum things like this, like upgraded tea, even if your focus is not increasing testosterone, if you're like, oh, I'm good, just from a covering your basis perspective, um, because they're just like anything. I mean, they're the wider, I would say the wider diet we eat, the less likely we are to have like gaping deficiencies, but you don't really know unless you're testing yeah. uh, a lot of different things, testing a lot of blood markers, testing your hair as well, and seeing like where, first of all, where am I deficient going into any particular diet um, is, is really key. Do you, with, the, with the testing, you said you did a couple thousand or more. Yeah. Um, copper, I'm just curious, if, real quick. Uh, yeah, do we'll you probably see... do 10,000 this year. 10,000 this yeah. year. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so with the amount of testing and copper as an example do you tend to see people with a copper deficiency we do see copper deficiency we also see a lot of copper excess too really for people yeah and we see something called hidden copper toxicity too which is 
something you would never see unless you're super highly trained in this and doing it often and like understanding intricacies of things. So you can cross correlate with about 12 different things, you know, all right, you know, are you in this range or higher of this, 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 and this? Okay, well, eight out of 10 of those or nine out of 12 of those, okay, all right, you most likely have copper deficiency. Also, symptomatically, are you having these things? And too much copper is going to look like, I think we've talked about this on a previous episode, but the um, people can rewatch those too because we went a lot deeper in, on the mineral side of things and hair testing and everything. But kind of to give an idea there, copper, uh, too much copper is uh, you know, going to lead to bacterial infections um, yeah, or, and, and just issues with um, with follow through really so from a personality standpoint having too little zinc you know is is going to have that same issue so that you know always looking at ratios and not just individual elements because the cool thing that we're able to do with hair testing is actually survey the landscape and not Except, just and and not just like you know one just say yeah it. one more just like total cholesterol it's like okay let's look at the hdl ldl yeah. trigly- inflammatory markers get the full picture and then here's right. the the prognosis or the the right. you know the roadmap um right. so for exactly. those watch for those watching and listening you could get uh, any of the products mentioned and there's a lot more we didn't mention and the hair mineral analysis testing kit uh with the link we're going to put down below in the youtube notes and the podcast notes and the coupon code to get a discount is my full name ben Azadi, so use that at checkout and I, I would, you know, I would recommend the hair mineral test and get oh, it reviewed. Sure. If you don't go that route and you're doing keto and carnivore, I would just personally say upgraded tea, upgraded mag, and upgraded pet- potassium could do some good things to get you started. Yeah. Last question. I know bo- we got to wrap this up. Boron. And too. boron too. Oh, okay. Man, that, yeah. That's key. Okay. Yeah. And boron. There you go. Yeah. I want to take a quick break from the video you're watching to share something with you that has made a big difference with my health and the thousands and thousands of students that I teach all across the world. Now, this is a unique device that has been shown to help with skin health, sore muscles, wrinkles, psoriasis, eczema, scoliosis, migraines, sleep issues, arthritis, acne, scar tissue, wound healing, relaxation, and also boost testosterone levels. What am I talking about? What is this miracle drug? Well, it's not a miracle drug. It's red light therapy. As you can see here, this is called photobiomodulation. And I use this red light therapy device every single day. Not only do I use it, my fiance uses it. Our dogs and cats love it. And the device I have here is from Bond Charge. Bond Charge has a different range of big panels, small panels, from affordable to ones that are a little bit more money depending on how much you want. And I love this product. I feel so good. And it doesn't take a lot of time to get all these benefits. I simply take off my glasses, which is Bond Charge glasses, by the way, turn it on, and I have it running for 20 minutes once a day. And turn it on, and as you can see, I just leave it there on my desk as I work. 10, 20 minutes uh, per day will suffice, and it makes a big difference. You're gonna notice a big improvement with your skin health and all the things we mentioned earlier in just a matter of weeks. So if you wanna get your hands on this Bond Charge red light device or get their big panels, they also have panels that you could take on the go that are more affordable, then head over to bondcharge.com slash ketocamp and use the coupon code ketocamp to get 15% off your red light device, or as a matter of fact, your entire order, any product, you can get 15% off with that nice coupon code KETOCAMP. So whether it's these Bond Charge blue light blocking glasses, their sauna blanket, or any of their awesome products, use that coupon code KETOCAMP at checkout. We'll drop a link down below. Go check them out. They are awesome. And let's get back to today's video. Last question, vitamin G, gratitude. I know you're a big believer of gratitude. I want to ask you what you're grateful for today. Oh, man. Grateful to be here. Um, I know we've been trying to link up in person here since I moved, so it's it, um, it's been a while since we've, we've had dinner. So just grateful to be here. But man, just got back from Colombia, had a great trip there. Um, grateful for a lot of love in my life and a lot of like feeling very on target with the mission, with the company doing super well. Like with we're just helping people. We're helping people get off of prescription medication. 
Um, it's like, I almost don't want to say that too loudly. Uh, uh, but <laughs> get like some people, targets on you. People are just like self-reporting that like, Hey, they worked with their doctor and they got off of the sleeping medication. Thanks to either, um, you know, upgrade magnesium or some, we're renaming it soon. It's going to be eight hour sleep. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, and that'll be like the larger clinical dose of four capsules a night, bigger bottle and stuff. Um, yeah, grateful for like the impact we're having um, and and just seeing people transform because I think that's really what we're offering people is, is a way to improve and just get better. Right and, on. Uh, and yeah, getting off of anxiety medication with like upgraded mood and like and just 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 happy, happy that um, that I get to choose who I, I work with, you know, and and collaborate with and, um, you know, like having great people it seems like the more good we do the more great people i meet personally so um so that that's that's just inevitably the thing that makes me the happiest amen i love that love what you guys are doing i have your products obviously here my pantry is full of your your upgraded formula products so i'm grateful for that thank you for that thank you for coming on the show again this time in person we'll do it again next year we'll put all of barton's information down below social media where you can get his products, the coupon code. So go check that out. Thank you, Barton, for coming back to the show. Thank you for having me. It was super fun. Awesome.